Scribing scrolls during downtime is a highly beneficial activity for wizards in Dungeons and Dragons for several reasons, and every wizard should be planning for this activity during any downtime they get. If your DM is using the optional rules for scribing scrolls from Xanathar's Guide to Everything, which I highly recommend, then here are the rules for scribing scrolls. With time and patience, a spellcaster can scribe a spell to a scroll, creating a spell scroll. Resources. Scribing a spell scroll takes an amount of time and money related to the level of the spell the character wants to scribe, as shown in the spell scroll costs table. In addition, the character must have proficiency in the arcana skill and must provide any material components required for the casting of the spell. Moreover, the character must have the spell prepared or it must be among the character's known spells in order to scribe a scroll of that spell. If the scribed spell is a cantrip, the version on the scroll works as if the caster were first level. Complications. Crafting a spell scroll is a solitary task, unlikely to attract much attention. The complications that arise are more likely to involve the preparation needed for the activity. Every work week spent scribing brings a 10% chance of a complication. Examples of which are on the Scribe a Scroll Complications table. As you can see, your wizard requires having proficiency in the Arcana skill to be able to scribe scrolls, so make sure this is the first skill your wizard takes. Here are just some of the reasons why your wizard should be scribing scrolls every chance they get if they have the gold available. The first reason is to conserve daily spell slots by using scrolls for extra spells. Scrolls allow wizards to cast spells without using their daily spell slots. This is particularly valuable in long adventuring days or when facing multiple encounters. Having scrolls on hand can be a game changer, enabling the casting of crucial spells like shield or fireball, even when the wizard's own spell slots are depleted. Another reason is to scribe scrolls for situational spells so that you can prepare for any challenge. Scrolls expand a wizard's available options in combat and other situations. By scribing scrolls of spells that are situationally useful, but not always worth a permanent spell slot, like Disguise Self or Protection from Evil and Good, the wizard can prepare for a variety of potential challenges without permanently committing those spells to memory each day. This allows your wizard to prepare for a larger number of possible challenges that the party might face, really leaning into the class's versatility. Your wizard can scribe scrolls that be be used by others. The scrolls can be used by other party members who can cast spells, provided those spells are on their class's spell list. This allows for strategic sharing of capabilities, such as enabling a cleric or bard to cast typically wizard-specific spell. It enhances the group's versatility and readiness to handle diverse scenarios that might otherwise require the wizard's direct intervention. A classic use for this is providing arcane tricksters or eldritch knights with a find familiar scroll, so they may have their own familiars. Wizard scribing scrolls during downtime is a game changer. It conserves spell slots for critical moments, provides flexibility with situational spells, and enhances team dynamics by sharing magical capabilities. It is also a great use for that extra gold that is not being used for much else. So next time you find yourself with some free time, Consider scribing a few scrolls. It could be the key to your party's success in your next adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more magical tips and tricks.